To some, subway stations in the Swedish capital Stockholm resemble caves. Amateur photographer Alexander Dragunov says they're among the most unusual he's ever seen. And he should know. He takes pictures of the underground in cities all over the world. You can go to subway and I mean feel alone. I mean hear your own voice, the echoes. So it's just a feeling of a place which I like. And also because it's empty, it's quite easy to take pictures inside. So I mean you should, I mean no one disturbs you. You can do what you want. You can find any angle you want. The 35 year old photographer born in St. Petersburg sets off in the evening when most people have gone home. Subway pictures are his passion, but not his profession. During the day, he works as a programmer. While photography might not help him pay the bills, it has earned him a cult following online. Many photography enthusiasts are attracted to his work on photo sharing platforms like Instagram and Flickr. Another who gets noticed is the London-based Miss Underground. She's got almost 35,000 followers online. She takes pictures of the London Underground with her smartphone. Among the images on her page are some snaps of the Munich Underground in southern Germany. The city's subway stations are popular photographic motifs. The palatial underground stations in the Russian capital Moscow also attract photographers from around the world. And Alexander Dragunov's work has inspired many people to take their own snaps of the Stockholm Underground. We're doing pictures of Stockholm, of subway, but we're doing it with their own eyes, with their own vision. And for me, it's very interesting to look at their pictures as well, I mean, to see how someone else can see the Stockholm subway. Alexander gets out at the Rotuse stop. It's one of several stations whose granite foundations have been covered in concrete, giving the surroundings a cave-like feel. Stations like these are mostly found on the Blue Line, which dates back to the 1970s. Alexander says he can only capture the perfect picture when there are no people around. And the chances of that are best at night. Still, he often ends up waiting for people to disperse. And that can be quite uncomfortable, particularly when he's squatting down. It's painful, I can walk a bit, wait a bit, but still. I mean, what I have to do is just to pull the push a button. So, I mean, everything is set up, just waiting. And now I can do it. Most of Stockholm's subway stations contain sculptures, murals, and art installations. The city's transport authorities describe the underground as the world's longest art gallery. While the artworks do feature in his photography, Ragunov focuses more on lines and symmetry. He spent a year working on his Stockholm photography project and has compiled a book out of his best images. It's called Tunnel Bana. When it comes to capturing the perfect image, it's all about detail. In fact, he's a bit of a perfectionist. It was quite a long learning curve, I mean, how to make these pictures. I changed a lot of cameras, I mean, I changed lenses, and because uh, finally I realized that, okay, in order to make best pictures, you have to use as wide lens as possible. Julsta is his last stop of the night. It might not be a money-making business, but Dragunov is proud of the large following he's garnered online. His photographs are among the first search results that appear when you Google Stockholm Metro. For him, that's enough recognition. There is some beauty hidden underground. And I mean, now people, a lot of people know about it. And when we're visiting Stockholm, we're not going to some museums, walking on the streets, but we're also going to subway. Now that he's completed his Stockholm photography project, Alexandra Dragunov is keen to begin taking photographs in other cities. Munich and London are at the top of his list. The subway stations there have something entirely different to offer. <laughs> 